Keyshot Studio 2025 has just launched and with it comes two incredible new tools for lighting. Let's break them down. First up is a brand new light, the planar light. This works like a hybrid between spotlight and an area light, emitting light from a plane but with controls for horizontal and vertical spread. In the gizmo you can change the size of the light and the angle at which it projects, both of which can also be adjusted from the material editor too. But my favourite feature landing in 2025 is undoubtedly the light positioning tool, which is automatically active when Ever you add a light. This allows you to control the position of any physical light with your mouse. No move tool required. There's four modes to choose from. Highlight, Normal, Target and Orbit. All of which can be activated by holding Control or Command. Just like the set highlight feature in a HDRI editor, highlight mode allows you to click on the geometry to choose where the highlight will be. Normal mode positions the light perpendicular to a surface, which I've found particularly useful for lighting backdrops and creating top-down lights. Target mode keeps the position of the light fixed, but changes where it's pointing. And orbit mode simply allows you to freely drag the light around its target. But it gets better. In addition to all this control, you can use control scroll to adjust the distance from the target and control shift scroll to change the power. Combined with the new planar light, these tools make for the most flexible and easy to use lighting system in Keyshot so far. For a full demo, head to the welcome screen where you'll find the 2025.1 demo scene made by us at the this step-by-step -step discovery exercise introduces you to the two new lighting tools and takes you through the process of setting up this render. I hope you enjoy using these just as much as I do. Let us know what you think in the comments down below.